In all the videos I've made over the last couple of months, you almost certainly didn't notice that my physical health was rapidly worsening. To look at me, you wouldn't have recognized that I was going through the worst health crisis of my life. Well, actually, if you look really carefully at my videos from the last couple of months, there was one very subtle sign that I was ill. Look at how large I was in this video from April of this year. That was pretty much my normal weight for the last couple of years. I hate to admit that, but yeah, I got fat in my 50s and 60s. But look at me today, 20 pounds lighter. I didn't lose 20 pounds since April from being on a diet or eating healthier or anything like that. I lost 20 pounds because of a medical condition that caused my own immune system to attack all the muscles in my body. It's called polymyalgia rheumatica. I really started noticing it in June when I retired from my real job at the nuclear power plant. When I had been working, I rarely sat still for very long. I was always moving around, doing things, but when I retired, sheltering in place at home because of COVID-19, I was sitting still a lot more often and for longer periods of time. And that's not a good way to be when you have polymyalgia rheumatica. I would wake up first thing in the morning with horribly painful inflamed muscles. But then once I woke up and started moving around, my muscles would gradually start loosening up over the course of the first few hours of the day. And then by 10 or 11 a.m., I wasn't in anywhere near as much pain as when I first woke up. In early June, that pain first thing in the morning was about a 3 on a 10 scale, but over the coming weeks, it got worse and worse. I want to show you a little video clip that's going to shock you because you're going to see me in a way you've never seen me on video before. By July 16th, my condition had deteriorated so badly that I would have severe pain just from sitting down or standing up. I put a camera on a tripod and let it capture the truth of my situation at 5 o'clock that morning. Watch and listen to my reaction to just sitting down on a chair. It was like what I imagine being a hundred years old feels like. Oh. Oh. And now, watch and listen as I try to stand back up from a sitting position. I'm pain in my knees just to get up off of a chair. So that was my reality first thing in the morning on July 16th, a pain level of 9 out of 10 just from getting up out of a chair. About 20 hours later, roughly 1 in the morning on Saturday the 18th, I was in bed sleeping and I needed to get up and use the bathroom. But my muscle pain had increased even further to the point that it simply became physically impossible for me to roll over to the edge of my bed and stand up. Only with the assistance of my wife and pain that was literally 10 on a 10 scale was I able to get out of bed and stand up. And that took about five minutes just to get out of bed and walk to the bathroom like a 100-year-old man. With that level of pain, I really didn't have any choice. I had my wife drive me to the emergency room at our local hospital. And thank goodness the right doctor was working the graveyard shift that night he did some testing, recognized my condition was polymyalgia rheumatica, and gave me a dose of a steroid that's pretty much a wonder drug for PMR patients. It's prednisone, and it works wonders at eliminating inflammation in your body. But it takes about six hours to kick in on the very first dose. So after they gave me that first dose of prednisone in the emergency room, they sent me home where I could wait for the meds to kick in. So when I left the emergency room, the meds hadn't kicked in yet. I felt just as bad as when I arrived. And to simply try to get into my wife's Toyota Camry and sit down in the passenger seat created another round of pain that was 10 on a 10 scale. She drove me home, and that's when I reached my absolute lowest point. 
in our driveway trying to get out of the passenger seat of my wife's car. I simply couldn't do it. It was too painful. Even with my wife trying to help me get out of the car, I couldn't do it. The pain was as bad as being stabbed with a knife. So the only thing I could do was to call 911 and have the paramedics come to my driveway and rescue me from my wife's car. Once they got me out of the car, and that only took about two minutes, I was able to walk on my own power and get into bed and wait for the meds to kick in. But that was my low point right there on my driveway at about 4 a.m. Saturday morning. This old man needing a fire engine full of first responders just to get him out of his wife's car. Later that morning, the prednisone started to kick in and the worst was over. And that's when I shot this video clip you're about to see, which I posted to Facebook, but with privacy restrictions in place so that only about 20 of my closest friends and family could see it. Hello, it's Saturday morning, July 18th, and I have a special message for you and a few of my other very close friends. This video isn't available for public viewing. If you're seeing it now, it's because you and I are close, uh, and I'm sure you know it. So the headline is that uh, in the last 24 hours, I've had the worst day of my entire life. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that everything's gonna be okay and I'm getting better uh, due to some excellent treatment I got overnight in the emergency room at Arroyo Grande Community Hospital. And I'm gonna be just fine. Uh, and by this time tomorrow, I will be back to the gym Zim that you know. Uh, for the last two months, I haven't been that guy. For the last two months, I've had tremendous inflammation in all the muscles in my body. And over the, the course of those two months, it's been getting worse and worse and worse uh, and creating a lot of pain in my muscles, making me very stiff and unable to move. Uh, and it's just been horrible. And things really came to a head in the last seven days or so, uh, where it just got unacceptably bad, just horribly, horribly bad. My medical condition is called polymyalgia rheumatica. And for the last two months, it has been untreated. Uh, nothing significant other than some NSAIDs has been given to me to relieve my pain or the inflammation. But last night, finally, in the emergency room, they were able to confirm uh, the, the diagnosis of polymyalgia rheumatica uh, and begin what is actually a very, very easy treatment. Uh, it's, it's super easy to treat polymyalgia rheumatica. There's one drug that is 100% effective in treating it. I've just never been allowed to have it uh, up until last night, about 3.30 in the morning, this morning. I got my first dose, a very, very strong dose. And here I am uh, five or six hours later and it started to kick in and I'm doing much better now. And I know um, that it takes about 24 hours for this drug to fully kick in. And by this time tomorrow, I'll be back to the guy that you know. So I know some of you have known about what's been going on with me and I'm sure you've been worried. I just wanna let you know you don't need to worry anymore. I'm gonna be okay. I'm already feeling better. By this time tomorrow, I'll feel great. And I don't want you to worry about me anymore. I'm fine. Well, that's my story. The worst few hours of my life during the early morning hours of Saturday, July 18th, 2020. Things have gotten usually better for me since then. The prednisone is a wonder drug for people with polymyalgia rheumatica. Other than the carpal tunnel syndrome in my left hand, which is an entirely separate issue, I'm feeling really good right now. And the carpal tunnel syndrome in my right hand, which I had surgery on about a month ago, has almost completely gone away now. So that's great. So hopefully it'll be another 40 years before the 100-year-old version of Jim Zim makes another appearance. <laughs>